What's up guys, this is the Metal Step, and today I will be teaching you how to connect, uh, construct another portal in Minecraft Xbox 360. Now uh, first you will need some lava, obviously, and you'll need a diamond pickaxe and a bucket of water. And um, it's, you'll want stagnant lava, not running lava, because it won't work that way. And uh, that's what obsidian looks like right there, that's what you need for the nether portal. And uh, this is how you uh, get some obsidian. Now, uh, just recollect that water so I can actually see it. Now, actually, got to mine the obsidian and notice how long this actually takes. It actually takes a while. So, that's how long it takes to get some obsidian. And you'll need uh, 10 blocks, or 14. You don't really need uh, 14, but 10 will do. So once you get all your obsidian, um, like I said, again, you only need really 10. For the uh, four corners of the nether portal, you can just put uh, cobblestone or something, whatever you want, like that. And it needs to be five high, I believe and four wide <coughs> and so uh, now we got our nether portal you need to ignite it with a flint and steel uh, it's actually pretty easy to make flint and steel all you need is iron and flint, and they're both of them are pretty easy to obtain. You get a uh, flint mostly from uh, gravel, and so uh, go into the crafting table and get a uh, flint and steel, and you just light stuff on fire with it. And uh, pretty much that's what flint and steel is. You'll need it for the nether portal. So we're back at our nether portal, and. We need to light the nether portal now with the flint and steel. And that's what it looks like. It's a complete nether portal. Now uh, let's take a step inside. So uh, this is what the nether looks like. Just, yeah. So uh, this is a nether rack. It burns forever. And uh, it's pretty much just all lava, nether rack soul sand and glowstone and uh yep so uh thank you for watching this is the metal stick, and i will see you later